Hello, my name is Akio Naito, President of Seiko Watch Corporation. This year, Seiko celebrates the 140th anniversary of its founding. To express our sincere gratitude to all of you who have supported us in our journey so far, we organized an exhibition here in Ginza, Tokyo, the birthplace of the company. To share Seiko's rich watchmaking history and heritage with the public. Due to the continuing coronavirus situation, unfortunately, it is difficult for many of you to visit the exhibition. So today, I would like to take you on a tour myself and introduce you to its contents. This area shares the history of Seiko from its establishment in 1881 to the present. Here is a replica of watches damaged and melted by the fire from the Great Kanto earthquake in 1923. The earthquake hit Tokyo and destroyed around 1,500 timepieces that were entrusted to Seiko by our customers for repair. After the earthquake, our founder, Kintaro Hattori, advertised in the newspaper that the company would compensate all customers who lost the watches left in the company's care with new timepieces of equivalent value, free of charge. This bold decision served to solidify the public's trust in the company, and the spirit of our founder to put customers first still remains strong today. This area looks back at the history of Ginza, Tokyo's hub of culture and fashion, recognized as one of the most prestigious shopping and gourmet districts in this mega city. And the Wako building and the clock tower that has served for years as a famous landmark and symbol of the district. Here, we have works of art capturing the Wako building during its early stages of its establishment, from the first Wako building from 1895 to the present. By the way, the current Wako building was opened as the second generation of the Wako building in 1932. In the center of the venue, is an enlarged installation of the first wristwatch made in Japan in 1913, the Laurel. Surrounding the Laurel's dial are displays of milestone watches in Seiko's history. Starting from the pocket watch Empire, created in 1909, to the world's first GPS solar watch, Seiko Astron, introduced in 2012. All of these watches exemplify our founder, Kintaro Hattori's philosophy that the company should be always one step ahead of the rest. Here, you will find Grand Seiko and Seiko creations commemorating the 140th anniversary of the company's founding. These creations exemplify the watchmaking expertise cultivated over our long history. Also on display in the Grand Seiko corner is a model of the Grand Seiko studio Shizukuishi, a studio dedicated to the production of the Grand Seiko's mechanical watches, which opened last year in July in Shizukuishi, approximately 500 kilometers or 300 miles north of Tokyo. Here, you can experience the world of Seiko's sports timekeeping. Seiko has served as the official timekeeper for international sports competitions and has won the trust of athletes worldwide thanks to its timekeeping technology accurate to one one-thousandth of a second. 
visitors can experience the actual electric timing system used in international track and field competitions. Also on display is a sport watch developed in the 1960s, which incorporated a revolutionary mechanism that changed the history of sports timekeeping. Thank you for joining me today on this tour. I hope I was able to share with you a glimpse of our rich and unique history. 140 years have passed since the company was founded in 1881, and we are still going strong. I believe it is Seiko's mission to carry on the philosophy and the vision of our founder, Kintaro Hattori, and to continue to put our customers first and produce timepieces that showcase the watchmaking expertise cultivated and passed down through the generations. Thank you for your continued support for Grand Seiko and Seiko. And please look forward to our future creations and developments.